Hi guys and welcome back to BOTV TV. My name is Christian Williams. And I'm Tim Oldland. And in the show today. Yes, we're going to pitch fuel against the future. We are also going to give you the chance to win £50 of dream car credit. Yeah, and we find out what happens if you pitch a McLaren 720S against the Huracan Performante. I can't wait for that bit. Mm -hmm. And Tim also gets to drive the Volkswagen Golf R Estate. I do. But first, car news. Here we go. Right, so the first bit of car news we have is this. It's all about Mercedes-Benz going Ooh. electric. Is that, is that from, the, from the movie Tron? It might as well be, mightn't it? I actually really like this, and I think the actual car is going to be pretty much the same as this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, I mean, this is obviously a concept car because it's got lots of lights and whatnot going yeah. on. But, but no, no, it's going to look just like this. It's, it's a bit bigger than the GLC, I think. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger. It's called the EQ-C. Um, Great name. Yeah, it's going to come out, actually, funny enough, after a lot of its rivals. Yeah, they were get in in the EV game. You know what? It it, it, really it pays. It pays oh. to be a bit later because oh, okay. everything is changing at such a rapid rate. Yeah. Well, this is it. This is kind of it in camouflage. Yeah, I'm not um, keen about the paint job, to be honest. No, I, I, it looks like Archie Hamilton's got a wrap on it, doesn't it? But <laughs> other than that, I think it's going to be something that's really going to push Mercedes forward. Yeah. So really, really fingers crossed for them. Uh, I love the brand. I think it's great. And I think the way they're going is very, very good. Yes. On to the next bit of car news. Ah, yes. I love this. This is really Funky exciting. Funky little thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the new Audi A1. Now, the reason I love this, and it's very geeky and probably won't appeal to anybody under the age of 30. I'm out. Just above, at the top of the grille, just above the uh, Audi four rings there, you've got those three little slots, and that's a, that knocks back to the old Sport Quattro rally cars, ah, the Group B rally cars. It's I exactly see. the same as that, and I love that. It is a wicked looking car, and they, mm. they change up the interior a little bit, they put some kind of color coding in it as well. But what's really exciting is there is going to be an S1. So yes. more hundred, uh, what, what, 200 horsepower? 250, 250? Yeah, in the S1. Bad. Yeah. Uh, and I have heard rumor there's gonna be an RS1 as well, which is gonna be around the 300 horsepower mark. An RS1? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Well, Addy, I think you're doing a great job of getting kind of the younger people into the brand because cars like Thumbs this, up. amazing. Very, very good. Yes. And last, but by no means least, oh. have you ever wanted to order a Volkswagen T-Roc without a roof, Tim? No, <laughs> but, I do like Volkswagens. Uh, no, but some people apparently do. I mean, there's the Evoque convertible, which is selling yeah. remarkably well, despite looking like a pram. Um, <laughs> this actually looks a bit more, a bit better resolved to me, actually. Um, you know, if you want to go off road and not have a roof, then, you know, you've only got, you've got two options now before you only had one. Yeah, no, I guess you've got the Evoque without a roof, and now you've got yeah. this. And this is quite a bit cheaper. And I love the way you went off-road. Now, yes. talking of Volkswagens, Ooh, yes. you got to take out the Volkswagen Golf R Estate, didn't you? I did, yeah, the Golf R Estate with performance pack. Ah, nice. Fact. And you actually took it to my hometown on the Isle of Wight. What was it like? Uh, it was fantastic. We do love it down there. Good. Um, yes. But yeah, this was, I, I thought I'd do a full proper test on this because it is the ultimate performance family car, isn't it? Um, I mean, well, yeah, because you've got a you've got a young daughter, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a family. And she was quite happy in the back. Yeah, yeah, not quite as much space as in my Skoda. Though. <laughs> I thought. That, um, I mean, aren't they basically <laughs> the same car? They are, but the the Octavia is stretched. But anyway, right, I'm getting okay. a bit getting a bit carried away there. <laughs> but um, no, I mean, it's fantastic. Big estate boot on it, four wheel drive, DSG box, three hundred horsepower. Power. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, it did everything. It it did everything that I threw at it through the whole week. Um, yeah, I mean, we didn't have amazing weather, but there was a lot of sun and stuff. It's brilliant. It's, it, I really, really enjoyed driving that so thing. So thumbs up from, from Tim for the Volkswagen Golf R Estate. Then. Yes. And actually, Brian Green won a Volkswagen Golf R Estate in the BOTB competition what, last month, I think it was. And he's, yeah. he's literally just collected it as well. So head to the website, BOTB.com, click on car collections, and you can see Brian picking up his brand new Golf. And we'll also, I guess, get your review video uh, in full coming to the BOTB YouTube yes, channel soon Yes, it's a well. corker using drone footage. You didn't crash it, did you? Uh, you didn't no. crash it, good. Better not have done. Uh, <laughs> talking of coming soon, this is also going to be coming soon. We've just done an awesome little feature on fuel versus future. Tim and I uh, got the opportunity by EV hire to be lent yes. a Lamborghini Huracan, and you got to drive the... Tesla Model S P100D. Now, so you got the P100D, that's a quick old car. It's a very, very quick car. Uh, I think it surprises a lot of people. It surprised me the first time I put my foot down in it, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. and I nearly threw up. Yeah, and it's... as always, the Hurricane is amazing. We got to take it to a little private test track and everything, so we'll get that video to you. ASAP, it's going to be a good one. Dave's yeah. already editing in it, he's loving he it. He is, he is. His fingers are literally worked to the bone, <laughs> getting all of these edits out for you. 
<laughs> now, talking of cars going head to head, I didn't really know where to go with that. Talking about <laughs> cars going head to head, we thought we'd really like to see a McLaren 720S and a Lamborghini Huracan Performante, though. The high, yeah, the, the kind of the hardcore Lambo. Yeah, the big go game. head to head. So, we teamed up with Supercar Driver, and well, this is what happened. <laughs> I mean, the way, you know, the Hurricane takes it and then the 720S just poof, gone. It, it is like a slingshot, that car. They the are, 720S is blisteringly fast. They're, they're stupidly quick. They're way quicker than they have any right to be for that kind of price point. But you know what, for me, I just love the Hurricane. Really? Even Why? though I can't see out of it. <laughs> Why, though? The noise. Yeah, okay. The noise of that V10 is absolutely incredible. And they look amazing as well. <laughs> On to competition time, and we are giving you the chance to win £50 of Dream Car Credit and all this chat about drag races. I think we should probably keep along those lines. So, we would like to know which two cars you would like to put head to head. That's right. Uh, just tell us any two cars. It can be funny if you want to. We're going to choose. But uh, write in your comments below, and we're going to choose one sometime next week. Something. We will choose one next week, yeah. yeah. Just write in the comments below, and you never know if you are picked. £50 Dream Car Credit coming your way. <laughs> And now it's time to talk about what is in our lifestyle competition. Now you may have seen alongside our dream car comp, we also run the lifestyle comp. So every single week somebody gets to win either a watch, a motorbike, or there is of course the other section. Yes, the other, the mythical other tab with yeah. just so much fun stuff in there. There is. And Tim and I decided that we wanted to show two of our favourites basically. So Tim, we'll go on to yours first. What have you picked? Uh, I have chosen this. Oh, this is wicked. Yes, this is the Yamaha YXZ-1000R. It's not a photocopier. This is <laughs> this is this bonkers, crazy uh, 15 grand's worth of dune buggy, I suppose you'd call yeah, it. Yeah, off-road like buggy, yeah. Off-road buggy it's mad. thing, paddle shift gears, absolutely mental. Probably maybe the most fun you can have with your clothes on. Yeah, maybe. 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 I, I, I'm not sure about that. Maybe. But yeah, it, look, I, I just, I, we're desperately, we're both desperately like emailing everybody in the entire world to try and get a go in these. Aren't yeah, we? fingers crossed. Actually, we're going to be at Goodwood this year, and I have a funny feeling there's going to be a few of these there. Yes. So we might get to have a play in one, and then of course we'll let you know what it's like. Uh, mm. And do you know what I picked? Is it going to be something football related? It is. Oh, it's on every God. channel at the moment because it is World Cup fever, Tim. Come I on. I can't even escape it when I come here, can I? <laughs> this is the Football Festival bundle. It is unbelievable. We've got, what, like a 75 inch Samsung QLED TV. It's incredible. Um, we've got the wireless soundbar to go with it. We've got a beer fridge, which we will stock for beer like full of beer for you. We've got 250 pounds of uh, delivery credit, so you can nice. get all of the fast food you like in your life. We've got five football tops, and the best bit is you don't have to have an England top, of course. If you're playing around the world, you can have whatever one you want. We will buy five, either of the same, five different ones, whatever, it's up to you. Uh, and a World Cup football as well. Yes, amazing. All of that for 40p a ticket. It is. But the good thing is, you don't actually have to watch the football on it. If you don't, like me, I would still like to win this prize, and I'll get a load of mates around to watch some films. What, in your football top? But they, they can, you know... No, you'd sell those. Tim would definitely yeah, sell the football sell tops. No, 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 I'd, I'd give them to deserving football fans. Sure, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't sell them. He'd probably burn them. Uh, that is basically it for <laughs> this week's show. <laughs> if you're entering uh, for the £50 Dream Car credit, good luck. And of course, if you're uh, entering for the Dream Car competition or the Lifestyle competition this week, very good luck. Fingers crossed to you. Yes, best of luck to you all. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio. Cheerio. Bye-bye.